Hey everyone, welcome back. In this Confluence tutorial, we are going to learn how to integrate Jira with Confluence. So before we proceed further, I would like to mention that this video is sponsored by Jexo, an innovative company that builds work planning apps for Jira Cloud, such as Octo, a plug and play component management tool to help you structure issues in Jira, release native component versions, and track work progress while collaborating across projects. Check the link or description below for more on Octo. So in the previous tutorial, we have understood understood why it is important to integrate Jira and Confluence together and what are the benefits that you will get by integrating Jira and Confluence. This is the Jira Cloud and Confluence Cloud version and the integration will be totally focusing on the Jira Cloud and the Confluence Cloud version. So I've already covered the previous um, the steps that you see in the previous tutorial and we'll be going through these steps one by one and understand how you can integrate Jira Cloud with the Confluence Cloud. So let's get started. So the first step if we see is the create a Jira project and then second one is create a confluence space. So to start with whenever there is a new team or a new work that your organization uh, starts with then there is a team. So team if has been onboarded they will need a project where they can create their issues and workflows and basically finish the work from start to finish and Jira software if you are doing the software development will help you to do that to do that. So we'll create a Jira project. Then the same team will need the documentation space. So they'll need the Confluence space if you're using Confluence for the documentation, which most of the cases, um, I assume that if an organization is using Jira, they will be using Confluence as well because they bring a lot of value. These two tools lot bring a lot of value together. So we'll create Jira project in the Confluence space. And for these activities, you need to be the administrator, Jira administrator and the Confluence administrator. So let me open the Jira software here. Here. The first thing is to create a project. So quickly, I'll go ahead and click a create project and just select a scrum project. Okay. So say, for example, we are doing the software development and using scrum. So we'll create this project using this template scrum template to make things a little quick. And then you can select a team management managed or the company managed, right? So what's the difference basically? So you can set it up and maintain by the team. So say, for example, you want to configure the workflow yourself and, you know, within your team, and that doesn't impact other configurations within your organization, you can select team managed. So let me select team management managed rather than the company managed. You will see a lot of other details there. Okay. In the company management. But the focus is to integrate Jira with Confluence. So we'll just quickly create a project and we'll say project A. Just give it a name project A RCV Academy and then simply click on create. So step one is done. We have created a project in Jira. The step two is to create a corresponding or basically to create a space, not corresponding uh, space for this project. But ideally, when you have the team which has the project, they'll have their space. So they'll go to Confluence. So I'll switch to Confluence from here. And then from Confluence, I'll create a space for this particular team which has created the project. So I'll click on, uh, sorry, click on spaces. And then I'll go to view all spaces. And then here you will see the create space. So I'll click on create space and let's create a new space. So let's say team space is what we are looking for. So I'll select team space and then click on next. I'll provide the key for the space. Okay. And I will say project A and the space key will be automatically taken. I don't want to change it and then click on create. So the space has been created. The project has been created for the team. Okay. Now what's the third step? Let's see. So we have created project confluence space. Third step is to configure the project link between the confluence space and Jira project. And this is the key step basically to configure the integration between the Jira and the confluence space. So we'll go to the Confluence and you can do it either from the Jira and Confluence. Let's do it from the Confluence because the end result is same. Whether you do it from Jira or Confluence, you will get the integration done, right? So now we are in this Project A RCV Academy space, okay? So if you're not at this particular location, say for example, you are somewhere on the home homepage. So if you want to integrate the space with the project, what you have to do is you have to first go to that particular space. So go to the space 
databases and this is the project that we recently created right so project a rcv academy and this is the documentation space for project a that is there in jira okay so we'll go to this particular project and go to space settings in the space settings you will see the integrations tab here okay click on it integrations and under integrations you will see that here you have this add link so if i click on add link i'll get this system jira all right and then i have to provide the name or key okay so two jira projects are available for this user enter the name or key to get the list of possible matches right now you have to get the key of the project or the name now we know the name right if you simply click you you will see that this is the project a and the key is pra okay so i'll simply select this is the project that is related to this particular space i'll select that okay and then simply click on create and you will see that this particular project or this particular space has been associated with the project a that is there in the jira so now this integration is successful if you want to edit this click on edit and you can edit this link here or the integration you can delete the integration by clicking on this delete link here okay once the space settings are done or once the integration is done step three is done the step four is to configure a sidebar link from the confluence space to the jira project and then vice versa from the jira to confluence so that you can easily navigate from jira to this confluence space and from confluence to the project a jira right so let me minimize it now the next thing is we'll simply go to the overview here okay and just okay so this is the project a rcv academy the overview page all right or simply from spaces just select this project a rcv space okay and then click on this share so what we want to collect from here or copy from here is this copy link because when i create this shortcut link in jira i want to land on this particular page because this is related space for that particular project right so i'll copy this link okay then go to jira software and from jira software we'll go to this particular project right so this project a is the related project to that space and here in this particular project simply click on this add item right so click on add item and what i want to add is i want to add the shortcut i add a link to a frequently used resource right so this is the link that i want to add and this is the link of the space which is associated with this particular project okay and here i will rename this particular space to as say which is easily readable and un can be understood by the team so i'll say project a confluence or simply rather than putting confluence i'll say project a space so whatever name your project is right so project a space i'll say and click on add once i'll click on add you will see that this shortcut project a space is available here now if i am in this particular project i'm working as part of this team i have this shortcut available here i can simply click on this project a space and this will navigate me to this particular space directly which is associated with this particular project right now from this this particular space how can i add the link to the jira project so what we have to do is we have to go to the jira software and click on this roadmap here so in the roadmap you will see the share icon here so click on the share icon and then copy link so what we are doing here is we want to have this link added in confluence and when somebody clicks on the short link that is added they'll be navigated to this particular page which is project a in the jira so we'll go to confluence right so we'll go switch back to the confluence and where we want to add this we want to add it in the confluence space which is related to that particular project so project a rcv academy and here you have this space shortcuts so click on add shortcut okay i'll put this web address that i have copied from there in this web address field and then i will name it as project a jira okay or jira project a so that name will be visible here and then click on add shortcut and this shortcut will be available then i'll click on save and now within this particular space i have this project a shortcut available so now the linkage is absolutely fine so we have done the integration between jira cloud and confluence cloud the projects are integrated and then within 
confluence i can directly click on this shortcut which will take me to the jira project for that particular space right and within jira project here i have this project a space link available as well so quickly if i am a part of the project a team i can navigate to that re related space in confluence very easily from the space to the project very easily so this is one of the benefits one of the many benefits i would say of integrating jira with confluence and we'll cover a lot more things like how you can create the issue from confluence and then that issue will flow back to jira automatically how you can create bulk issues from confluence in the upcoming tutorial and these are all the advantages of integrating jira with confluence so that's all for this tutorial i hope it was helpful thank you very much for watching